Hey everybody, it's Katie. I just wanted to show what is growing in our vegetable gardens this year. Um, I have done a few videos of this in the past, but we were living in the desert at that point, and now we're in a temperate climate, so it's a totally different type of garden. I really like seeing what other people are growing, and I thought for anyone who's interested, I would share. Um, so we, I, this is our first year in this space, in this area, and I'm trying to be a little bit creative because we could be moving this summer. So I tried to do mostly container gardening and stuff that we wouldn't have to just abandon when we leave, if we leave, whatever. Um, and also we decided to spend $25 to join the local community garden group and get a plot. So for $25 we get a 10 by 10 plot that is in a park nearby that we can walk to. We get a garden mentor if we have, you know, if we run into any problems we can kind of consult with an, an expert. Um, we get a delivery of like really nice leaf humus, sort of like organic fertilizer type thing, and we get water on site, and I thought it would just be a good way of like connecting with people in the neighborhood that have similar interests, you know? So, so far so good on that. I will show you that first, and then I'll show you the few things that we are also growing just around our yard. Here is our little 10 by 10 community garden plot. So, some of the plants were already here. What we're most excited about is this whole patch of raspberries. They're, the berries are just about to be ripe, so that is sort of the best it has to offer. <laughs> Our first year in this spot, you know, we weren't really sure what would make it. So we had a couple strawberries here, they're already passed. A little bit of mint, this is a crazy oregano that needs to be split. There is sage, we have a pepper plant here, a chocolate bell pepper. It's not doing fantastic. This is a line of beets sort of just getting started. This is a black crim tomato. Um, and then back here we have a teepee of uh, green bean. I don't remember the variety exactly. I can list it in the description box. But so far, I don't know. Things are, things are going okay. It is like mid-June, so we planted about a month ago. And like I said, we are really excited about those berries. Okay, so back at the house, again, I try to keep things a little bit portable in case we move this summer. We have some carrots planted in here. We had radishes too. Chipmunks have really dug up a lot of the seeds we had back here. Um, this is a dogwood tree we will take with us whenever we go. There's a strawberry plant and a little bit of sad uh, parsley. Here is more radishes and carrots. A lot of the radishes have already been harvested. And the chicken wire is not keeping out the chipmunks. <laughs> Here is one tomato. This is, I believe, let me think, I think it's a Cherokee, Cherokee purple, Cherokee red, something like that. Um, this one is having some kind of issues, some kind of wilt or I don't know what. Um, it's not like, it doesn't have spots. I don't know what its problem is, but it's not particularly happy. I don't know if we'll get any fruit from this one. Um, we've got a basil in here too, growing with it. Over here is a bunch of flowers that are yet to bloom. There's some wildflower seeds that Alice brought from school and there are zinnias and bachelor button and a certain type of Japanese sunflower and these so when we moved in these were both compost bins obviously really simple version this one we still use as compost and we just turn it by hand and stuff um, this one is like compost that is already you know broken down and cooled so some volunteer tomatoes came up in it last year and they did really well. So this year I planted a plant and it is going crazy as you can tell. It's just, this is the same age as all the other tomatoes and this one is just nuts. So this is called Mexico Midget. It's a cherry tomato and there's already fruit setting. So I have high hopes for this guy. There is a bunch of lemon balm and mint over here which is nice for tea. I kept the sides of the yard pretty wild. There are some sort of wildflowers, Campanula and I don't know what that is, Coreopsis or something. Um, just for a little bit of like more habitat, I guess, for pollinators. So I like Queen Anne's lace. I let it grow. This is a really cool catalpa tree. And a bunch of other plants. Um, I planted some allium. Obviously these aren't edible, but so this is, um, that's Echinacea, right? Coneflower, I think. And I think this is chamomile. I haven't done anything with it, but that's nice. So over here, I did an experiment. This is along the neighbor's fence. We planted peas, and they actually did really well growing up chain link instead of using any other kind of trellis. 
try to, you know, just kind of take the easy way. Um, however, this past week, the temperatures were over 90 degrees. We've had a bit of a dry spell and they've just gotten zapped. But we will harvest what we can. These are a shelling peas, so I think um, the peas inside might still be harvestable. And um, I'll try this again because it worked really well. They just trained themselves right up the fence. I tried the same thing here with green beans. I planted a whole row of green beans and only two little plants uh, survived. So, and I had it weeded better and stuff, but um, they're not too happy here. I'm letting these, these two just kind of do whatever they want since we have green beans at the community garden. Okay, I have two final things in case anyone is curious. Um, I get most of my seeds I think this is the fourth year running or something from, um, I've been getting them from Seed Savers Exchange. Here is the catalog. They are based in Iowa and their deal is that they are all heirloom seeds. So they are all like strains of seeds that people have been collecting for years and years. The free catalog alone is worth requesting just because it is so beautiful. It's awesome to use in like collages and kids projects and stuff. There is like nine pages of just different types of tomatoes alone. Um, obviously flowers, all different types of fruits and veggies. They are just a great place. Um, they are a nonprofit, and I've always been super happy with their customer service. Nothing not to recommend. Very last thing, this is the only sort of fertilizer I've used on my plants this year. This is a liquid concentrate that I keep in the refrigerator, um, and it lasts for six months. This is something my dad sells at the garden shop that he works at. Um, it is mostly kelp. Let me try to zoom in. This is an organic, totally kid-safe, um, animal safe type thing. It's kelp, aloe vera, soya lecithin, and alfalfa. And you just spray it on the soil before planting. You can spray it on your plants. You can use it on your lawn. This is my first year trying this, but so far it seems to be helping. And that is everything. Um, thank you guys for watching and let me know what you are growing.